Hey Dallas Goldbug here. I'm going to show you a short little demonstration about lens distortion. This is one of the types of lens distortions. It's uh, one of the most common ones that you'll see with standard lens. And to demonstrate this effect, this lens will represent a telephoto lens as this is a basically out of a magnifying glass. And this lens, the convex lens, is going to represent your wide-angle lens. And I'm going to show you what happens to the nose and the ears or the face when we use these two different lenses to shoot a portrait. Now, on that wide-angle lens that I just showed you, because it is shaped the way it is, it is more like a SLR camera or a camera with a prism in it, a mirror, so it flips the image. So we're going to start off with a flipped image here so you'll be able to see it normally. Now, as we view this image of Hitler, Disney, Roosevelt, whatever you want to call him, Kermit, you'll notice the way that the nose is enlarged and the ears are almost gone. And the closer I get to that subject, the more extreme that effect gets. The larger that nose gets, and the more the ears disappear. That's because the shape of the lens distorts the image. Now, put the image back, and let's take a look at the same thing with the telephoto lens. Now what we have here you will see the face is now flattened out, the nose is pinched, and the ears have now become much wider, much more visible. The closer you get to that subject, the more extreme it gets. When we pull back, you can still see the head, how it is elongated, the nose is still pinched and the ears are much more visible than they were. Four. So, when you look at these photographs that we're showing you and we're trying to identify these individuals and you see that the ears look smaller or the nose looks wider, you have to look at those two effects first and determine if that is happening in that, that photograph. Because once you determine that, then you can make adjustments for it and you can render that ID much more accurately.